Hey, I'm Carrie Murphy, and welcome back to Inspired Living TV, where we inspire lives and help entrepreneurs become industry icons. During the summer months, I often get asked, Carrie, how do I actually keep my business thriving and moving forward when everyone seems like they're on vacation? <laughs> I get it. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the key things you can do to boost your business during the summer months. The first thing to think about is, what is something that you can do that brings people together? Summer is a beautiful time of year. There's great outdoor activities. So I always recommend hosting some sort of event. It doesn't have to be this huge grandiose thing. It can be a get together with friends and acquaintances to get to know one another and share with them what you do. It can be an informal workshop. It can be so many different things. But during the summer months, people love getting together. So think about things that you can do to unite potential friends, customers, and clients. Another thing is to go to an event. Get out of your bubble. Go meet new people. I think the summer people are excited. There's a new fresh energy. And I really can't tell you how many times I've gotten out of my comfort zone, got on a plane, and headed over to an event. And it was a life changer, a game changer. I met someone that I would have never met online. So I highly recommend getting out of your own comfy bubble and heading out to someone else's event and looking at how you can connect and learn. Another thing I do to really encourage you over the summer months when everyone seems like they're on vacation is look at how you can work with people you've worked with before. I know that it seems so easy to post a Facebook ad and bada bing, bada boom, you're gonna get a ton of new clients through a Facebook Live. And although you can absolutely build rapport and build relationships that way, and we do have a lot of clients that, that come through Facebook and other social media platforms, I want you to think about the easiest thing you can do over the summer is reach out to people in an authentic, heartfelt way that you've already worked with. Check in with them. Ask them, hey, what's going on? What are your goals for this next year or the fall coming up? And see how you can serve them further. I say it's so much easier to take someone who already likes you and works with you and trusts you and take them deeper down the funnel with you than to keep attracting new clients all the time. And then the last thing I suggest that you do that worked really well for us is host some sort of challenge. We did a five day video challenge during the summer and I will tell you, it was a huge success. People were having fun with it. They were posting their videos. It created a ton of new energy and a ton of new clients for us. So think about what is something you can do that would stir up some new enthusiasm online and get people active, get them doing something. And a challenge or a webinar or something like that is a great way to connect, create community, and get people to start working with you. So I hope you enjoyed these tips. Of course, I would love to hear from you. So please post a comment and better yet, share this video with someone you care about because when you are inspired, you inspire others. I hope you have an incredible summer yourself. And remember, as always, to keep dreaming it, living it, and being it. Until next time.